So battlefield. It's uh. Oh my god! It's fun. Yeah, it is. It's fun with friends too. Run away! Are you dead? <gasps> no, I got God damn it, Preston! I fucking hate you, Preston. <laughs> Fucking hate you. What? It's really fun with friends. Bye, Preston. Bye, Kyle. I'm going on a trip. Fuck! In your favorite rocket ship. Fucking landmine. The game reminds me of Bad Company 2. And that's the thing. It's a very good thing, actually. Bad Company 2 introduced a lot of people to the Battlefield series. It actually took away a lot of Call of Duty fans. And actually, in my personal opinion, put Battlefield on the map. More so than it was before. It provided great atmosphere. And this is actually just for Battlefield 1. Battlefield 1 captures a lot of good atmosphere. Between the sandstorm, the um, people popping up randomly, the tanks, the destruction. It really... Is really going back to what people actually wanted from a Battlefield game, from the past two Battlefield games, Hardline and Battlefield 4. The structure is, you know, back to being ramped up, there's a lot of chaos, a lot of disorienting things. Again, going back to the Sandstorm, it is fun. The weapons are great and all that jazz. You know, and most of the hate I'm seeing from people complaining about the game is really just, you know, superficial hate. It's hate that people generate just to get mad. You know, just to, you know, be that one person who is mad at something. And <laughs> it's, I mean, you're going to have that with games. You're going to have people who hop into a game only to sit there and chat and bitch and moan about the game. And that's, you know, that's that's their prerogative, I guess. If it Somehow it makes them happy. I, I don't know how you can be happy being angry all the time. But this, this isn't going to be a full review. This is just, you know, quick, fresh impressions. Um, a lot of stuff in the beta is actually locked down, but the stuff we do have is fun to play with. I think the assault is actually the, or the scout is actually the most unlocked class on the game, in terms of having a lot of stuff right out the bat. And the maps they show um, to Sinai Desert, or the map they show Sinai Desert, is actually a really good map to kind of show off the potential for the game. It has the behemoth, it has the weather effects that goes from both sandstorm to a major fog. Um, great building, a great amount of building to, you know, destroy, you know, it's 64 players on Conquest anyway. And it provides a lot of, you know, kind of like early peeks into what the game can potentially do. Now, I'm looking forward to, you know, a snow map, maybe a rainforest type map. Where, you know, I can see a lot of blizzards or like a heavy tropical storm. Uh, we don't see, we see a lot of planes. And we know that planes and, you know, tanks are going to be on, on board. I'm not entirely sure if boats are going to be on board. I cannot remember that at the moment. But regardless, you know, they, they put a lot of effort into this desert map. And... I'm looking forward to the game. I honestly am looking forward to the game. It releases in October. We have about a, about a month before the game comes out. And between that and Civilization 6, both of those are going to be heavy hitting on people's wallets. But from what I've seen and what I've experienced, Battlefield more 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 than likely will you know, will fill out the bill. Will make you feel like, you know, the $60 actually went to something. Instead of just kind of like $60 because it's a brand new game. Um, you know, it's... <laughs> I'm excited for it. I will do a few rev a full review once the full game releases. I don't believe in doing a complete review on a game during a beta. It's just not a thing. So this is really going to be a first impression. So look out for the full review. Um, thank you guys for coming out. Let's and guys for just spending some time, and I will see you guys next time.